what a treat I have for you today with Ivor and Gerard Dartra, which is the official song premiere from this artist. More about that in a minute, but first I will say thank you to everybody who has been reminding me to play this particular song. It's from her new album, it's track four on N-E-N-N, -N, and it's going to be one of those songs I know I can only give you a description about. I have the lyrics in English, and we will try and decipher what the story is about. So if mine is a little bit different than what you've heard, I can only say it's my interpretation. But it is, looking at the lyrics, a song about exploring themes of inner conflict and self-reflection and that would be herself she comes from one of the smallest places on the planet she grew up in a village of 400 people tucked away among the Faroe Islands today's artist but her music which is shaped by natural wonders of her homeland has brought her all over the world she's performed at Europe's biggest festivals and co-composed the soundtracks to Netflix hit series the Last Kingdom, an award-winning video game, God of War, Rag Ragnarok. Today, Ivor is making the next leap in, in her musical journey by announcing her new album, N, ties back to her Nordic roots. All eight songs are sung in Pharaohs, and most of the lyrics were written with the island's esteemed poet, Marjun Sinderbo Kilnanis. But even though it translates in English as still, ENN stands out amid her two decades long playlist as a bold new venture. The album leans heavier into dark electronics and cosmic orchestration, all while reconnecting our hearts and desires with the primordial beauty of the earth. N is the most nost and experimental al album I've created to date, Ivor said. The songs range from symphonic space opera vibes to more beat driven and dark electronic moods. I wanted to explore the links between humanity and nature and the primal urges of the heart, the under, undying desires of the human flesh and the endless struggle we choose to endure in order to achieve our goals. Now all of this goes on whilst our planet hurtles through space, setting the stage for our battlegrounds but also for our sanctuaries because even though there is an unyielding tide of destruction at the core of this journey, there are also oases of hope and comfort lingering within its blue embrace. The earth speaks out and the heart listens. So, it is the first single that you're going to hear, just extreme contrasts. And what it is about is, it says, the extreme contrasts that define life in the Faroe Islands the song is dark yet glistening, swirling, but prolusive. It's also one of the very first songs that Eva wrote for N. Back in 2021, I went to a tiny village on the Faroe Islands, she says. Though arriving with no plans other than to entertain the thought of a possible side project, she realized that her ventures into classical music and beat making were actually the start of her new album. Today's single is one of the most beat oriented songs on ENN, but as the video subtly suggests with the thump of Ivar's hand drum, its steady electronic pulse stems from ancient origins. When I wrote the song, I envisioned the earth in its rawest elements, oceans, volcanoes, storms, soils, remember Ivar. We all have echoes of these elements within us, but maybe we tend to forget that we are part of nature and its endless circle of decay and growth. The video's laser light show glistens like a pearl necklace. But today's song beckons us away from our own greed and destruction and back into the warm embrace of Mother Nature. In English, the title translates as Death Lust, a primordial desire to return to Earth. And the deep swells of strings and gentle turning piano are rooted in the old Pharaoh's folk melody. Come lie down in my blue embrace, Ivor sings, reaching into her op operatic register as it beckons us towards the light. Her voice also sails high with such ease that it sends a shiver of astonishment up the spine once you realise what we're hearing is from her earliest demos. 
I recorded the vocals for today's song in an all abandoned school. During the middle of the night, Ivo says, I tried to redo them later, but I couldn't capture the same feeling. And the videos today, the video that you're about to see was directed by Ina Eagles. Oh, I'm looking forward to one of eight songs because I'm going to get this particular album. Joe Dartra is today's song. Enjoy.
That was absolutely incredible. One of the most mesmerizing videos I've ever, ever seen. It truly blew, it's blown my mind. It's absolutely an incredible song. Congratulations seems so frivolous to say, but welcome back Ivor with music that just haunts you watching that. I could have listened and watched that laser show all evening because it is the evening I'm recording this. Thank you, Genius Lyrics. Um, is it Genius Lyrics? Sorry, Lyrics Translate for the translation of the lyrics from Pharaohs to English, dust to dust. And we always have to give out to a big shout out to the poet because that's what they want. And they have been submitted by Eden, E-D-Y-N. And thank you for those. Dust to dust, first one. Still it gushes forth in crimson waves. Fat river of fates, bloody sharpened blades. From its dark depths, corpses rise. All the ocean's delights drift before your sight. Lift up your clouded eyes and look at me. You're a mast home. Listen to my lament. Come lie down in my blue embrace. Reeking of your cruel rage, flaking weapon rust, crusts our fierce death lust. Raging pyrus must blaze out life's primal song. Can you sing along? That's the lyrics. They're just... It seems to speak of a journey towards, for me, self-acceptance and embracing one's true self. Despite perceived flaws or past mistakes. The imagery that it mentions of the sea and elements of nature symbolize a lot in Ivor's work of cleansing, renewal, and as the song encourages us to lift our eyes and to life and what it's about and where we are in life, it's about also opening your eyes to truly seeing yourselves for who you are. The chorus hints at a desire for redemption and a plea for understanding. Because it's reeking of your cruel rage, flaking weapon rust, crusts our fierce death lust. Raging priors must blaze out life's primal song. Can you sing along? Well, that chorus goes on to those verses that ultimately leads to a sense of love and acceptance in the end. Ivor, absolutely phenomenal video, haunting lyrics, and Jardatra is one of eight songs, everybody. Can you imagine anything? If that sets the standard for what's ahead of us, what we are about to have on YouTube explode in the other lyrics, in the other videos that's coming our way, she always was quality in class. She always was a person that went deeper than heart and soul level. She went to the very depths of what creates a human. From the toes all the way up to the eyes, to the brain. What runs through us, what energies run through us, what connects us from all around us how the elements connect to us as a human being. And that song, that song is a prime example. Absolutely incredible. I enjoyed it. And I hope you've enjoyed the background, the video, and the short summary. To Jod Arthra from the album N-E-N-N -N by today's guest, Ivor.